Hi children, my name is Mansi and I'm going to help you with the following question. The question says, prove the following by using the principle of mathematical induction for all n belonging to natural numbers. 1 divided by 2 into 5 plus 1 divided by 5 into 8 plus 1 divided by 8 into 11 up till 1 divided by 3 n minus 1 into 3 n plus 2 is equal to n divided by 6 n plus 4. In this question we need to prove by using the principle of mathematical induction. Now before starting the solution we see the key idea behind the question. Now we know that the principle of mathematical induction is a specific technique which is used to prove certain statements that are formulated in terms of n where n is a positive integer. The principle can be explained with the help of two properties. If there is a given statement P at n such that First, P at 1 is true and second, if statement is true for n equal to k where k is some positive integer P at K is true, then statement P at K plus 1 is also true for N equal to K plus 1, then P at N is true for all natural numbers n. Using these two properties we will show that statement is true for n equal to 1 then assume it is true for n equal to k then we prove it is also true for n equal to k plus 1 hence proving that it is true for all n belonging to natural numbers. Now we start with the solution to this question. Now we have to prove that 1 divided by 2 into 5 plus 1 divided by 5 into 8 plus 1 divided by 8 into 11 up till 1 divided by 3n minus 1 into 3n plus 2 is equal to n divided by 6n plus 4. Let P at N be 1 divided by 2 into 5 plus 1 divided by 5 into 8 up till 1 divided by 3N minus 1 into 3N plus 2 is equal to N divided by 6N plus 4. Now putting N equal to 1 P at 1 becomes 1 divided by 2 into 5 is equal to 1 divided by 10. That is same as 1 divided by 6 into 1 plus 4. And we see that this is true. Now assuming that P at K is true. P at K becomes 1 divided by 2 into 5 plus 1 divided by 5 into 8 up till 1 divided by 
थ्री के माइनस वन इंटू थ्री के प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू के डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्स के प्लस फोर दिस बिकम्स द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन नाउ टू प्रूव दैट पी एट के प्लस वन इज ऑल्सो ट्रू P at k plus one becomes one divided by two into five plus one divided by five into eight plus one divided by eight into eleven and so on till one divided by three k minus one into three k plus two plus one divided by three times k plus one minus one. Multiplied by three times k plus one plus two. Now, this is equal to k divided by six k plus four plus one divided by three times k plus one minus one multiplied by three times k plus one plus two. This we get. Using one, this is equal to k divided by twice of three k plus two plus one divided by three k plus two into three k plus five. Now, adding the two expressions. This becomes k times three k plus five plus two. This divided by twice of three k plus two into three k plus five. This is equal to three k square plus five k plus two divided by twice of 3k plus 2 into 3k plus 5. Now this can also be written as 3k square plus 3k plus 2k plus 2 divided by twice of 3k plus 2 into 3k plus 5. This is equal to 3k plus 2 into k plus 1 divided by twice of 3k plus 2 into 3k plus 5. Now we see here that 3k plus 2 is common in numerator and denominator, so they get cancelled, and what we get is k plus 1 divided by 6k plus 10. Now representing the expression in terms of k plus 1 we get k plus 1 divided by 6 times k plus 1 plus 4 and this is same as P at k plus one. Thus, P at k plus one is true wherever P at k is true. Hence, from the principle. of mathematical induction the statement p at n is true 
for all natural numbers n. So, to solve this question, we use the principle of mathematical induction. We assume the statement to be true for n equal to k and then prove that n equal to k plus 1 is also true. Hence, proved. I hope you understood the question and enjoyed the session. Goodbye.